akrodhah what is akrodhah the opposite of krodha absence of anger even when the situations are irritating you there is no anger arising in your mind or even if there is anger you are able to control it now this anger is a big problem for very many people so therefore there is a separate topic called anger management in very many <laughs> institutes we have such topics anger management now how to deal with anger see first of all we must know that there is something called being angry and there is something called showing anger what is the difference when you show anger you are controlling anger anger is under your control you are the master so therefore when you want you can show anger when you don't want you can withdraw it then there is something called being angry when you are angry anger is the master you are a helpless slave in the hands of the ma- in the hands of anger there are very many situations where you have to show anger because otherwise the work won't happen especially the tamasic people who don't understand samadana bheda for them anger alone is the solution there are places very many times the parents have to get angry with children when they don't listen when they are disobedient but then here you have to understand it is not being angry it is only showing anger now how will i know whether i am angry or i am only showing anger you will know <laughs> the mind is peaceful even when you are showing anger isn't it and moreover you are able to bounce back to your peaceful state after showing anger hmm? your thinking is very clear even when you are showing that anger even when you are shouting your intellect is very clear so these are the proofs that the anger is only an external drama to get your work done so what we have to practice only showing anger and not being angry number 1 next point if you want to get rid of this evil trait called anger first of all we should know that it is an evil trait very many times we justify our anger as long as you justify your anger saying that because of him i got angry he did so that he did like this therefore i am angry as long as you are justifying your anger you cannot get rid of it if you want to get rid of anger you must know what happens when anger seizes you you must know what happens to you what are the things which you are losing when anger captures you as a prisoner so bhagavad gita itself gives the answer to it krodhat bhavati sammohah sammohat smriti vibhramah smriti bhramshat buddhi nashah buddhi nashat pranashyati where did we see last month we had taken second chapter in that second chapter this comes the ladder of fall so one of the rung of ladder is this krodha intense anger what happens after krodha krodha bhavati sammoha total delusion what is there you don't see what is not there you see sammoha smriti vibhramah loss of memory smriti bhramshat buddhi nashah loss of intellect loss of discriminating ability and once you are not able to discriminate properly what is right what is wrong what i should do what i should not do 
what is dharma what is adharma the intellect literally becomes paralyzed and once the intellect the discriminating faculty becomes paralyzed that person is only a two legged animal isn't it he does something stupid pranashyati when arjuna asks bhagwan why do people commit sin even though they don't want to commit sin it is as though some external force is compelling the person to commit sin what is that force so then bhagwan says kama esha krodha esha rajo guna samudbhava mahashano maha papma bhagwan says it is because of kama it is because of krodha born out of rajas rajo guna samudbhava so this is a very important tip to conquer anger what is the tip as long as the mind is in the rajasic state handling anger will be impossible near to impossible so what is the tip nitya satvasto bhava when your mind is in a satvic state handling anger becomes very easy when your mind is in a rajasic state you will never be able to handle anger in short a pure mind is able to handle anger easily an impure mind cannot handle anger bhagwan describes krodha as maha papi it makes you commit all kinds of sins the immoral the unrighteous everything a person may raise his hands against his own parents against his own teachers when anger is ruling him what he cannot do we just cannot even imagine he can do anything so therefore anger is called as maha papi so we must know that this anger is not something good it is something to be eliminated from our personality never add never justify your anger there is no situation in this world where you have to get angry the moment you are angry all your efficiency drains away the moment you are angry you are disturbed and once you are disturbed you are a nobody <coughs> because you are at your best when your mind is at peace you are at your worst when the mind is disturbed so therefore the first step is being consciously aware of the calamities of having this evil trait called anger be intensely aware of its evil consequences so when you are intensely aware of these evil consequences naturally a desire an intense desire comes from within to get rid of this evil trait the first step in getting rid of any evil trait is having an intense desire to get rid of it that's the first step where will you get this intense desire when you are intensely aware of the evil consequences you will have that intense desire and once that desire becomes intense you will do everything you will apply our formulas to eliminate it now the next question is how to handle anger then now i have understood that it is a dangerous thing how to handle anger you will always find that anger is deeply connected to something you love very much the kama and krodha they go together there is something which you are intensely attached to that very same attachment is taking the form of anger when you are not getting that which you are intensely attached to then that intense anger intense liking intense raga itself take the form of anger 
this is the first thing to be noted wherever there is intense attachment there is always a what you call a trigger button for anger atom bomb is ready to diffuse wherever there is attachment so therefore what is the best way of getting rid of attachment you will find the next value given is tyagah renunciation giving up attachment that we will come later so the best way of handling anger is never have intense attachment to anything in life that topic we will discuss later now the second point to be kept in mind is when you regularly meditate you will be in a better position to handle anger meditation should be made regular what do you call feature of your daily routine what do i mean when i say meditation that ability to look within and observe the mind it is an ability like any other ability that ability to look within the ability to pay attention to the mind the ability to observe the mind normally this ability we don't cultivate what do we cultivate we cultivate only the ability to, to look outside the things and beings always our ex, our attention is extrovert outside and that is the reason why we are not even aware when this anger catches us but as you start developing this ability through regular meditation the ability to look within slowly slowly you are able to observe the happenings in the mind you are able to observe the thought generations in the mind what are the different kinds of thoughts that arise in the mind you are able to observe and since you are able to observe it at a very early stage because this thought has this nature of multiplying of gaining momentum when you start observing within you are able to detect the what you call you are able to detect the existence of anger at the very sprout level itself at a very initial stage at an early stage you are able to detect it that yes it is it has come now it is there is there that small irritation is there now slowly it is picking up once you start once you have detected this initial stage of anger as a slight disturbance in the deep within of your personality then handling anger becomes easy a thought at a very initial stage is very easy to remove earlier the detection easier is the correction this is the law if you are able to detect at a very early stage you are able to remove it easily but very many times the problem is we are not even able to detect it that is the problem so how to detect it at an early stage develop this ability to look within as you meditate regularly sincerely seriously your ability to look deep within your mind that ability also increases not only then you are aware of the thoughts in your conscious mind you are also aware of the thoughts in the subconscious mind and once you develop this ability you will find any of the weaknesses any of these negativities of the mind it cannot overpower you because at a very early stage itself you nip it in the bud so this has to be developed it can be developed only with regular practice so this is how you have to handle anger any other technique is not going to work what are the other techniques when you get angry count up to 10 count up to 100 these are the things they give 
It's okay. They are all childish techniques. Or when you get angry, run away from there. See, when you get angry, you just don't know what your intellect will tell you. So all these advice will not work. Because the intellect will say, I don't have the patience to count out to 100. This is what the intellect will say. And you have no choice but to listen to that intellect. Isn't it? When anger has seized you, you are a helpless victim in the hands of anger. Then the anger will decide what you should do. You cannot decide anything. So then expecting the intellect to function when the anger has conquered you, it is a foolish suggestion. Nothing will work. Only spiritual techniques alone will work. If you want a permanent solution to this problem, that is called as akrodha. 